If you've got a marketing budget for your music, you might not be too sure where to spend it effectively. Well, imagine having $100,000 to invest in music. It could be quite stressful because you might get nothing in return. Well, in this video, I'm gonna take you through my top five places to invest your money to promote your music. Let's get started. So we're gonna go in reverse order and start with number five. And in at number five to kick things off is pay for a support slot. I would pay for an artist to support a major artist who has similar fans to your potential fans. So whether you're touring with Post Malone, the 1975, The Killers, just make sure that the support slot you pay for, they have the same demographics of fans as you do. And when you have that support slot, make sure to save your best, most popular songs till last. And the reason for that is that is when the room will fill and you'll get to play your best songs to almost the entire audience that night. A support slot can cost anywhere between $5,000 and $100,000. It just depends on how big the band is. But not only that, you can use it for pitching. You can use it for pitching to Spotify playlists, to press, to radio. And then you can say, I was on tour with and that will get the attention of everyone else who wants to cover you as an artist. So you will get so much more coverage and social media following by touring with a major band. Number four is our favorite social media advertising. Social media advertising is still underpriced now and you should be using it. There is a band in the UK called The Hunter who basically launched their career off the back of social media ads. What they did was they created ads which said, are you a fan of, say, Imagine Dragons, and then advertised to all of the Imagine Dragons fans. So when a Imagine Dragons fan sees this post saying, are you a fan of Imagine Dragons? They think, yes, I am a fan of Imagine Dragons. Then they are likely to take notice of this post. And then once you've created that post and you've got that engagement, you can retarget that audience again and again and again. And the HANA have completely blown up from this method. Also, if you've got great content for your social media, you can do that as well and advertise your content to a wider audience and funnel people down to your Spotify and make them become a fan, show up to your gig and be an ambassador of you as an artist. The amount you put towards social media advertising is completely up to you. You can spend $1,000 or $100,000. Just remember that you don't make a purchase of a product the first time you hear about it. If you see an ad for a product, then you aren't just gonna go and purchase. You need to see it at least six or seven times before you trust them as a brand, and the same goes for artists. So save your budget for retargeting. So say you start with 50% of your budget for getting a new audience, and the other half goes towards retargeting that audience with more content and more music. So don't be disheartened when you don't get a good reception from your initial advertising campaign. It is the following advertising campaigns that really build that fan base. Next, number three is influencers. These are, again, so underpriced. And the reason why it's so effective is word of mouth is still the strongest form of marketing. If you saw a Facebook ad for a product versus a product that your friend has recommended you, you are more likely to purchase that product that your friend went for. So remember that. If you are following an account and you fall in love with someone who is posting on social media, you follow them, you watch all of their stories, you watch all their YouTube content, and they recommend an artist or a track, you are more likely to go and listen to that track. Once more, you're more likely to become a fan of the band because you have been recommended that artist by someone you trust. So influencer marketing is incredibly underpriced and underutilized in the music industry right now. If you aren't sure how to do influencer marketing, I'll link a video down below on how to reach out to influencers and how to find them because you need to find the right influencers for your audience. Just getting a shout out to the wrong demographics isn't gonna work for you. And don't just focus on Instagram. TikTok was the most downloaded app of 2019 so far. 
and it is so popular with the young people who are discovering new music. So you could even pay TikTok influencers to do a routine or dance to your music. And then people will ask what the track is, find out what it is, and become a fan of the music that way. So imagine people just watching an account that they watch every single day and your music comes up. So get in touch with all of the influencers on TikTok that match your demographics and see what their price is. They will already have a price because brands are reaching out to them every single day. And number two, this is where we're gonna go for the top end of that budget, the $100,000 mark. And that is to pay for a major influencer or celebrity to be in your music video and that will help get more views on the video. So for example, Lewis Capaldi has just got Peter Capaldi, who was Doctor Who in the UK, and he is incredibly famous in the UK, in to be in his music video. And if you haven't seen that, it's an amazing music video, you have to go see it. And also Liza Koshy, who is an online megastar, has featured in Drax Project's video, which went on to get 10 million views. And there is no way that Drax Project would have got 10 million views without Liza Koshy in his video. So what happens is you're watching a Liza Koshy video who she has millions of subscribers and along the suggested section of YouTube, it says, do you want to watch this music video with Liza Koshy in? And the chances are you're gonna click it because you are a massive fan of Liza Koshy. So that works so well and it pretty much guaranteed him 10 million views on his music video. And of course, not all of you are gonna have a $100,000 budget to spend, but maybe you've got $2,000 or $3,000 and that will still work. You're just gonna to have to aim for a smaller influencer, but it's still going to help you get more organic views on your music video. And finally, number one, the best place in the world that you can invest your money to promote your music is to pay for an artist who is already established and already got a major fan base to feature on your track. Whether you collaborate on the track, whether it's a feature or it's a big rapper who's gonna sing a verse on the track, this will help you immensely. Because one, you get on the release radar of the established artist. So on Spotify, the day it goes live, everyone will see on their release radar that major artist and you. So you as an artist will get all of the streams from their existing fan base. Not only this, if you're struggling to get on Spotify official playlists, then if this artist already has that credibility, say they get on New Music Friday every single time. It's just a huge artist like, let's just say, go extreme like Drake. Drake will always be on New Music Friday. And if you are on one of his tracks, then you will automatically be added to it and all of the other Spotify playlists that you want to be on. Then, when you release again, you are already, as an artist, on the radar of the Spotify curators. You've already been on New Music Friday, Rap UK, Rap Caviar, all the major Spotify playlists that you want to be on, and you can pitch that to the curators and you can use it for press as well. So the press will get on board with it because they want to cover the major artist and the radio will want to play the track. And for us as music marketers, it makes it so much easier to promote music and get the attention when a major established artist is on the track. The cost of this completely varies and go up to $100,000 depending on the size of the artist. Like it's well known that Snoop Dogg is more than willing to provide verses for your track if you pay enough. And they might even want to split the royalties with you. It just depends how closely you work with them. You might collaborate 50-50 on the track or they might just email you a verse across that you can just place into your track. But of course you can still upload it to all the streaming platforms platforms as that artist. Now, I want you to be very, very careful with this tip because there are agencies out there that will claim to know Snoop Dogg and be able to get him to do a verse on your track. And what they say to you is, cool, pay the money and I'll email his verse across. He'll record it in his studio at home 
and he will send it across. And what happens is you pay them, say, $30,000 and they tell you that, okay, cool, Snoop is in the studio now, he's recording your track. And then two weeks later, you get an email and attached is a verse from Snoop Dogg himself. But what they've done is lifted it from another track or Snoop Dogg just has a backlog of just verses and lyrics that are publicly available, but quite difficult to find and they know how to find them. And they will send you the track and it won't be original. It will be from another song. And you put it on your music and you put it out to all of those hip hop fans who say, I've heard this verse before. Where have I heard this before? And they Google the lyrics and find it in another track. It is a well-known scam in the music industry. I've seen it happen to artists and it is just crippling because you've invested so much money in it and it turned out just to be a scam. Let me know below if you want me to do a full video on this, on the best agencies and how to get a major artist to feature on your track. If you found this video useful, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more music marketing videos like this, subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Yeah, yeah.